Hello, my name is Dennis Rayfield. I'm a professor of health policy and management at York University in Toronto. Canadians, like people around the world, are concerned about health. They're concerned about their own health and the health of their loved one. They're concerned about the health of their neighbors. Health is important because without health, life becomes very difficult. Now, what is it that is responsible why some people remain healthy and other people do not. Canadians, like people around the world, have been led to believe that if you quit smoking, drink alcohol in moderation, exercise, and avoid getting overweight, you'll be healthy and live a long and healthy life. Unfortunately, this is really not the case. It's been known for close to 150 years that the primary factors that shape health are people's living conditions. Living conditions refer to the amount of income they have, the kind of housing and employment they have, whether people have enough resources to attain food, and the extent to which they're able to gain support from others. Now, if you happen to have taken an introductory sociology of health class, or if you happen to be a government official, you'll know this. And in fact, Canada, like other countries, have produced many, many reports that document how important these factors are. The World Health Organization calls these factors the social determinants of health. And they identify how these factors, which are very much a result of government policy making, are the most important determinants of health. Over the years, I've become increasingly frustrated with the fact that the average person is not being exposed to these facts. So over the last year or so, together with colleagues, I put together numerous publications and reports that we hoped would be picked up by the media and transmitted to the public. Unfortunately, this has not been the case. So to go directly to people like you and your friends, neighbors, and colleagues, my friend Yuha McConan and myself put together this report called Social Determinants of Health, the Canadian Facts. And in order to assure that this would be available to people, we placed it on the web to be available for free download. And indeed, you can get this document by going to www thecanadianfacts.org. Now to date, over 40,000 people have downloaded this report. And in the report, we not only show how living conditions are the most important determinants of whether you and your friends and family will remain healthy or not, but how these living conditions are themselves shaped by public policy. So importantly, in this report, we identify what you and others could do to try to get governments to improve the living conditions that are so important for your health. We urge you to think about this, look at the report, and to distribute this link to your friends, colleagues, and as many people as you can think of. Only by having an informed population who know about the social determinants of health we will be able to get governments to respond to the needs of the population. So we urge you to, again, take a look at this, think about it, and if you're concerned about your health and the health of those you care about, we urge you to read Social Determinants of Health, The Canadian Facts. Thank you.